Hello and welcome. My name is Lak and this is my very first video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a stroke effect. Let me show you. So we've got some lines swirling up against the facades of a building. Alright, so first preparation in Photoshop. I've got a picture of the facades. So what I did is I made Wait, I'll make a new solid layer to show you what it looks like. But um so I've got white information on the geometry of the building. Why? Because 3D stroke works like a stroke effect, so we are gonna use the alpha information to make a stroke. So in After Effects we begin. I've got the alpha information, throw in a new composition. Alright, so first what we need is the mask information for the 2D stroke to work. So we are going to layer, oh, select the layer first, layer, auto trace. Okay, so what we're going to do is to trace the alpha information. We have the preview on. We set the tolerance to one pixel, so we have a off. Alright. Again, layer, auto trace. We don't need the blur, we need the alpha, tolerance of one, threshold, let's say two, put on the preview. Why is it not working? Gonna take the luminance. All right, luminance works. So we've got the, put on the toggle mask. We've got the masks. Now what we need to do is select a layer, add a new effect, trap coat, 3D stroke. Don't worry, if you don't have 3D stroke, in a minute I will show you how to do this effect without the plugin. So what I did is I adjusted the thickness of the masks. Let's set it to about two. Then there is the taper, which makes a sequential stroke. I'll disable the toggle mask view, like this, so we can see. So, what we do now to animate, set it on frame zero, offset. If we scroll this, you can see it comes in, it goes out. Let's set it to minus 100 keyframe. And for last frame, offset 100. Make a keyframe, preview, et voila, simple stroke effect. Looks nice. All right, so second alternative way of doing a variation of this is we take just the photo, put it in a new composition. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a didn't mask this off right. Let me mask this out. Oh, shape layer. Oops. Select the layer. Cut off all the information I don't need. So we've got this image and what I'm about to do is uh, extract black and white information for the auto trace to generate the stroke. So select the layer. Let's start off with a UN saturation. Desaturate make it black and white. Now we need contrast for the auto trace to look for black and white information. So crush the white, crush the black, dum dum, hmm, some more white, something. No, I like the geometry on the pillars, so I'm gonna try to extract those. Now it's good enough. Uh, so what we do now is I'm just gonna make a null real quick. Recompose this and let's name it black and white info mask. All right, so now again, layer, auto trace, luminance. Now we can play with the tolerance. Let me just, if we crank this up, we should get less less, hmm, somewhere in between, maybe five. 
Let's preview it. It's good enough for the effect, just to show you. All right, so okay, just the same as we did. Select the layer, trap coat, 3D stroke, put on the taper, make it thinner, like two. I'm gonna disable the mask view, show you. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a loop. So, how this works just enable loop. The loop only works from uh, the value starting from zero. So, keyframe zero. And then every 100 value points, it goes around once. So, I'm gonna make it go around in five seconds. Just, I'll make it twice. So, 200. Preview. And the strokes goes. Okay, that's good. Voila, some stroke effect. Now, what to do if you don't have 3D stroke from trap codes? Um, I'm just going to make a new composition with the black and white information that I have. Put it in a new composition. All right, now, uh, layer. Layer styles, regular stroke. Uh, go in the stroke, color make it white, just have the same size too. And of course, we need to generate a black fill. Oh, all right, a problem. Let me check. So in the alpha we don't have alpha information so let me show you what to do when we have this problem extract just cut out the black values voila stroke delete the stroke because the stroke effect doesn't listen to effects so i need to pre-comp this make a new null pre-compose alpha black and white info now again, layer, layer style, stroke, put on the stroke, make it white, put in the black fill, make it black, et voila, we've got a stroke. So, God, I wish I prepared for this better. Um, make a new solid. We're gonna make a fractal noise to generate black and white information and use that black information to map out white information. So we go to noise and grain, fractal noise. Uh, Pim to contrast a bit to get more black information, a little less white information on the brightness. Blending mode for all the fractal noise layer, put it on stencil luma. Now we have to animate the fractal noise, so we set the evolution on keyframe zero. Go to the end, let's turn it around once. Go into evolution options and make it loop if you want it to loop. So cycle evolutions, it loops in one evolution, so that's good. Preview. I know it's not the same, but I guess it comes close if you don't have 3D stroke. Yeah, it's a bit more. Let me see. Adjust the transform, scale it up. More contrast. Even more holding shift while scrolling. Looks nicer. All right, now it's just for a quick preview. Let me put in the things we made on this preview thingy I made. So I just had the effect added uh, color vibrance for a color, which is a free plugin of uh, Video Copilot, and then added a glow, put it in uh, blending mode add, just to show you what it's gonna look like. So this was the one I made before. This is the one with the black and white information we generated. I'm gonna 
disable the. F oh, sorry. Wrong. I should have got my naming better. All right, like this. So preview, just to show you. Put on the glow. Glow is better. Nice effects. There's a little glitch. This glitch happens sometimes when you have a lot of masks and you're using 3D stroke. Just go in the stroke layer, adjust the thickness just a little bit. And go back. Preview should be gone. And it's gone. Preview just to get the movement. Looks nice. Next effect we made was the one with the fractal noise, Windows 2, correct. Uh, I'm replacing this by holding the Alt key and drag and drop it. All right, preview. Et voila. Looks nice. So this is how I made it. Hope you liked this first tutorial. Hope you learned something. If you liked the video, Please like my page to get more information and get updates when I make new stuff. Thank you.